off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Friends, how are you doing? I'm getting my house so cold today I've got the AC going Spent the morning before the kids went to school because they had late start today. Um, it's Wednesday. Um, we cleaned. They did their chores. I did mine. I vacuumed everywhere, including kind of here in the kitchen as well. Um, the cereal little bits always kind of pop up after Ashley sweeps at night. So I had to kind of vacuum here in the kitchen as well. Um, so we've got pretty flowers there from Jacob from prom. Um, the kitchen is clean, the counters are done, floors were swept. Sent all the kids off to school, worked on the computer for a little bit, and then I ran to Target. Just want to show you a few things that I got. Um, in addition to Kaylee's graduation gift basket, I, because I can't think of other things to get her, and I know that these two things, and possibly one more, are actually of more value to Kaylee if you know her or no teenagers um, these have a whole lot more value <laughs> for children um, as they become independent and are adults so I got a Taco Bell gift card and a Target gift card and I need to go to Cafe Rio and get one there they didn't have any of those from Target um, I also had to replace one of these goldfishes. I got one for each of the girls um, the other night when Abby was sick. I don't even know if I've told you that. Abby was really sick. I don't even know what day. That Sunday and Monday. Same days Ashley was sick. Abby was sick, but I just didn't mention it. <laughs> um, but she texted me. I don't remember what I was doing uh, Monday when I was I, I was running around doing the hospital stuff. And I was so tired and she had texted me and she's like can you please get me some vanilla cupcake goldfish and I just wanted to go home and I was like oh, I have some extras from the gift baskets that I haven't put together yet so I stole one from the gift basket knowing I would likely go back to Target and replace it so that's the replacement then I remembered that um, Father's Day is Saturday if you are new here Jason is a minimalist to the biggest T, except for when it comes to snacks. So he is trying to do better with his snacking. Um, so I did kind of go mild on that, but I got him some M&Ms, caramel M&Ms, and some IBC bottled root beer. I get that for him every Father's Day and every birthday, and he loves it because he just, he makes those four bottles of root beer last like two weeks because he just treasures them we keep them in the fridge and then he'll put them in the freezer for about an hour before he eats them so that they get a little bit slushy and he just really savors those treats more than he does anything else this bag will be gone it'll be gone really fast <laughs> but the root beer he really truly does savor that so he's a simple man um but something that i'm going to surprise him with also got some gum. Kaylee asked for gum um, as she heads into graduation week. What did I, well, I got a, a special card for a special friend, one of you. I'm gonna send it to you. You'll know it's you when you get the card in the mail. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so I wanted to surprise Jason with a Father's Day dinner. I still have thoughts on whether I'm gonna do it or not. Um, our barbecue hasn't been used in years, and I I feel guilty asking him to clean it, because I refuse, <laughs> because it probably has like mice living in it for the past like three years, um, and I don't want to clean it. I don't even want to take off the cover. But I would like to have hamburgers, because that's like, he would really enjoy having like hamburgers and side dishes and having a fun little barbecue for Father's Day. I don't want to clean the grill. So I thought I would do the new thing that is on TikTok and that you guys have really enjoyed my TikTok hacks lately, um, especially the, the soda can boxes in coolers. Thank you, That's such a good idea. So here's another one that I've seen on TikTok. You take hamburger meat and you put it on a 
um, what do you call it, a tortilla shell, and you can get carb, uh, f not carb free, but car like f low carb uh, tortilla shells, which I might do for myself, and you smash the hamburger meat onto the tortilla shell, flip it upside down, and grill it, and you make hamburger tacos. Showed them to my kids, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and Kaylee was like, we have to make those, and I don't need a grill to do that. So we can have hamburgers and even make a few patties if Jason wants an actual hamburger. So my, that was my idea. So I need to go to the grocery store later on in the week and get a few of those supplies, um, including dessert. Jason doesn't mind eating cake. In fact, Ashley made a cake um, the, yesterday. Yeah, she made a cake yesterday when she was kind of bored um, being sick. Uh, she bakes when she doesn't feel well. <laughs> so she made a cake. Um, but cake isn't Jason's top pick for like a dessert. Um, I'm gonna surprise him with Bacardi pie. So I got some um, graham cracker crusts. Now, if you've never heard of graham, uh, Bacardi pie, um, it's basically like strawberry ice cream pie, but you take um, vanilla ice cream, or you could even take strawberry ice cream um, if I can find it. And you add Bacardi frozen mix and it's normally people use that and add it to alcohol <laughs> it's like a concentrate it's like a little bottle of concentrate juice um, but we don't add it to alcohol we add it to vanilla ice cream and you mix it all up and then you put it into your pie pan and then you freeze that and I guarantee you he is going to fall in love I had never had it until I got married to him. We had always had like Oreo pie or mint Oreo pie with ice cream in it as well. Um, where you just literally put the ice cream into the um, graham cracker crust or an Oreo crust. Um, but I had never done the Bacardi mix in the vanilla ice cream and it is so good. And you sprinkle um, graham crackers on it and I might even get some strawberries and put some strawberries on top. So he doesn't know about that. So I'm actually gonna hide all of this stuff he knows that i've got some stuff for all the graduation stuff and like end of school kind of celebration stuff and so it's not even going to occur to him to look in here because he, he knows it's just stuff for um you know all these little surprises all right yeah, the other day when i went to marshall's slash home goods i found this tray and I've been looking for something to go onto the patio little coffee table that's outside. Look how perfect this is. It's nice and big, and I can put like a pitcher, and then I have the candle. Remember how I have like, um, what, do, what do I have out here? I'll unlock it. So just to remind you, I have like a little decor piece, a candle, he needs to get out of the sun, and then I have our little bug trapper and a lighter this needs to kind of come out of the sun so that's what i have on here now but i want to switch it out for the fourth of july but i also want to have one that can go like beyond just the fourth of july so i didn't want to have like it be red white and blue um so that i can use it when all the fourth of july stuff is put away um and then like even like fall stuff because it'll still be nice we can still enjoy um the patio for i don't know a few weeks a few months into the fall if it's not raining out there. So this guy was kind of perfect for, um, it's neutral, but I can really like kind of jazz it up. I did run out of time. I wanted to find some napkins because I'm missing napkins from here. I'm kind of hoping I have them in my box of um, 4th of July stuff. I have a half hour until Ashley's home and therapy, but she doesn't have cheer today. We'll talk about that, hang on. So if I have time, I might look in the 4th of July basket, but I know that it's going to be like a dump. I'm going to really want to start diving into it, but I do need napkins. And I looked at Home Goods and I didn't find any because um, I would like to have a little stack to put out on the tray for, you know, at the patio as well. But then I found this little picture frame and it was only like, what, six dollars? Um, because I did not find a frame while we were in Hawaii for this picture of us seeing the parrots. But I wanted something that was like, you know, I don't know, it reminded me of, you know, the ocean or natural. So I kind of just got this like kind of beach vibey wood 
frame for super cheap and it needed to be neutral colors as well because this picture is so bright and I love it. And so now I need to like find a fun place to put it um, and display it because we have the other one on my desk but I thought it would be fun to actually like have people actually get to see it. So there we go. So now I just have this debate. Do I sit and relax for like a half hour? I don't have a video to edit. Um, so Ashley doesn't have cheer tonight, but she does have, like, she doesn't have cheer practice, but she does have a family and friends performance celebration as the end of their season. Um, and I think her grandpa is gonna come, Jason's dad is gonna come, and I'm trying to get most of the kids to come. Kaylee is going to the beach with her friends. It's supposed to get up to 86 degrees today, you guys. It's the hottest, one of the hottest days that we've had so far. Did get up into the 90s a couple weeks ago. Um, so she might come, but this cheer performance, I'm just gonna give you a little heads up. Tomorrow's video is out of date. It already happened, like before today. <laughs> so you're gonna find out some news from that video. It was shocking news to all of us. Um, but I need to talk to her coaches tonight after her performance or before her performance and kind of get the scoop on some of the shocking news that we got. Um, so you'll have to just wait. I might get to the bits of information tonight that I will have to wait and share with you. <laughs> and I'm really honestly not trying to like tease you along, but like you're gonna find out news tomorrow in tomorrow's video that's gonna make more sense and then I'll fill you in later on. Um, so let's see, anything else? I'm just gonna wait for Ashley to get home. Um, we have a couple hours where I, you know, don't have to go and like walk while she's at practice. But I'm trying to like decide that then I don't, don't get my chance to walk and I've done my hair. <laughs> I shouldn't have done my hair today, but I wanted it nice to go to this performance tonight. I just, I don't know. <sighs> all the woes of having cute hair now. I actually wanna do my hair, but then it gets in the way of me going for walks. If, if I were just, I could just go for a walk, but now I have Ashley with me until, I, there's like two hours that I don't have free time. She doesn't have to be to the performance until six, whereas normally her practices start at four. So, I just gotta figure that part out. I might have just done something Right, Ash? Yeah. First of all, before I tell you what I might have just done, what did Grandpa just bring you, Ash? Chocolate ice cream. He brought you chocolate ice cream and what? Money. Money! For your birthday, right? Yeah. Yeah. That money is gonna go toward craft projects and not squishmallows. I don't want squishmallows. You don't want squishmallows, yes. You're actually trying to sell some of them. Yeah. But she loves making bracelets, right? And so you want some more doodads to add to your bracelets, right? More the trinkety things, the little animals and smiley faces and things, yeah, right? This is a little hot and that's just like... Yeah. So save your money, you can put it in your wallet. Oh, I'm your wallet. Can yep. we go to the hotel? Possibly. I know, possibly. Let me let me do this really quick because I, I kind of did just did something kind of big. I need to talk to Jason about it. Um, I might have just um, unofficially scheduled my surgery. <laughs> I'm not even, um, so I was thinking in my head that they wouldn't be available until like the end of August to 1st of September. Um, Cause when I went to my consult, they said, yeah, he's about two or three months out um, on the calendar. And so that's kind of what I've had in my head and like planning different things for the summer and trips and they have camps and she has new cheerleading starting. Um, so I've kind of been basing a lot of things on that. Um, she has something available a whole lot sooner. Oh, there's kids a lot sooner. And I need to talk to Jason about it. I don't think we have a problem at our store with um, having this earlier date. Um, Let's just say it's next month. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about it. Um, it's kind of a big gulp. Um, so, oh hey, Hi. Chelsea's rarely on. Hello. Hey. Chelsea needs to come out of her room more often because she, she didn't know 
But what, what was it you told me? She didn't know we might go to California this summer, which is one well, of the yeah, things. When Ashley told me, I thought we were joking. <laughs> I thought she was joking. I was like, Mom, I hate California. Why would she want to go back? <laughs> like, you, well, it, well, because we need to go to California. I'll explain that one. I think we've kind of explained it. No. Um, what else did you, did, you didn't know about? She didn't know her light. Kaylee's her light? light? Kaylee's light broke. Oh yeah, she didn't know that someone hit Kaylee's car. No, I didn't know that. I just didn't know that we got the it fixed. Story. Oh, and everything that happened with it. Yeah, that actually got fixed so fast that not everyone even knew that it was oh, happening. <laughs> um, and put your shoes. Up. Oh, look at that. She put her shoes away. Did I even like? I didn't even capture that on camera. It goes on the floor. <laughs> um, yeah. So really quick. Uh, we have the chance to go to California. We're trying to give the kids some kind of a vacation this summer. Um, it is dependent on the whole purpose of going to California would be to see Jason's brother, Chelsea Marie, every time. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here. Yeah. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay, I'm gonna go where there's good light so I can sit down for a second. So his brother is still in PCU at the hospital. He has just been released from ICU. So he is doing well. Um, so he was just transferred to a new room last night and he's doing fairly well. They are hopeful that by next week or the week after he will be transferred to a regular hospital room for another week or two. So hopefully by the end of June, he will be released from the hospital, which is insane. But because he has now, at that point, we will have been in the hospital more than two months, um, the damage that was done to his body and the muscle atrophy that he has experienced um, and his vocal cord is paralyzed and like there's so many things that he will have to recover from. Um, he really can barely move his body right now. He can barely sit up, he can barely talk. Um, he will go to a rehab center in California in the Palm Desert and is going to start going insane. <laughs> Jason's finally been able to text him and start having little mini conversations over text messaging. Um, even that is exhausting for him to use his hand because he's only got one hand that he can use, the other one is broken with pins in it. Um, and so we're just kind of waiting to find out if it would be appropriate for us to go and visit him. His sister, Jason's sister, um, is going next week to spend some time there to, so that his wife can come back home and get some things taken care of at home. She's been there for over a month. Um, so we're just kind of waiting, but in, in the off chance that we get a chance to go to California, um, we want to have the chance to go and take the kids to one of the parks. They've never been to Disneyland, um, but Legoland. if Legoland or yeah, California Legoland. Adventure or Universal. The only land we've been to is Hawaii. Yes. So we want to give the chance to do one of those options. Our budget only allows for one of the parks. Even though my friend told me, she was like, you might need to like up the budget and go for a two day park hopper. Um, I haven't really looked into it a ton, but those are the possibilities. And then we would spend some time in the Palm Desert, making sure Jason got a chance to spend time with his brother. We would not all go to the rehab center. We wouldn't make sure that it was just an individualized time for Jason and his brother. Um, he doesn't need to have all the energy exerted to handle the rest of us um, we would just get a hotel or stay at their casita and and see how things go that being said um, depending on when I have this surgery I've been very open with the my uh, personal assistant that I work with um, at the doctor's office for the surgery um, <laughs> I mentioned that we would go to California and she's like wait a minute and I was like, yeah, we might go to Disneyland or things like that. And she's like, okay, okay. She's like, you can't do rides. You can't do roller coasters after like when you're recovering from this. So we kind of got like a time frame to like, maybe you can do a few things in the park at this point in time after surgery. And so we're kind of just trying to figure that out. And that's kind of what I need to talk to you about Jay with Jason, his work schedule, if he can take some time off with me. Um, and then also timing of when we can go to California. So it's a lot of up in the air. I can't pinpoint things. And if you know me, I like to plan and schedule and put things on the calendar and I can't. <laughs> so it's kind of driving me crazy. So this is perfect. So this is perfect. Thank you, Chelsea. <laughs> 
this is exactly how I like to do things. So, kind of a turn, turn in event, events. Um, the good news is I ordered Ashley's yearbook. Yesterday, Ab uh, Abby, no, I have yours. Abby texted me and she's like, make sure you pay all my fees. They're handing out yearbooks tomorrow and I don't wanna not get it because you haven't paid a $4 fee. And luckily I did because Ashley had a $6 recorder fee. She used the recorder from class one time because she forgot it. I don't know why. And I got charged $6. I have the stupid recorder and I've used it for four solid kids now and I had to pay a $6 fee. Whatever. <laughs> it lasted four kids. I don't care if it's out of tune. The yeah. recorder, recorders don't sound good anyway. I don't care if they are out of tune. Regardless, in that process, I found out that I did not, in fact, order her yearbook. <laughs> so I have ordered that. Paid $5 more than the original pre-sale order, but that is secured, yeah, Ashley. I know. But the fun thing is, in, in finding out about the yearbook situation this morning, I emailed your teacher and I said, hey, how do I find out how to order a yearbook? And what, well, she told me this in the email, but what did you find out about in class today when you got there? Mm -hmm. What did you not miss because you had My strep throat? Party. Your party. And I'm gonna ask you off camera because there's a bit of a situation with the class party next week. So I'm gonna, Thursday. Yeah. So we're gonna turn the camera off here and discuss this. Okay, so we've had a time to discuss it. She thought she was gonna miss field day, which was way more fun for you, right? Yeah. Okay. So your class party is an hour and a half and they're playing board games. And you're okay to miss that for graduation? Okay, and I told her she can make a decision up, up until the night before. So that's okay. See how much she loves doing this? This is, she does this where she's in the swing all the time yes <laughs> she has all of these little bracelets that she's been saving up Kayla gave her the little turtle I need to put some felt on the bottom of that in fact I might give it to you and you can cut it out and glue it on because it's just gonna start scraping my table all right well we have a little bit of time here before I take Ashley down for her performance just I'm kind of excited this is happening But it means I can like, I don't know. I don't know. My kids will be here to be able to help me. Jason will take the day off to like go do the surgery with me. He'll just swap with one of the other employees. Um, but my kids will be here to help take care of me the next day. I'm not terribly worried about it. They can help make me some food and whatnot. And I'll just hang out here on the couch or up in my bedroom. Maybe that'll be the goal to have a TV in my bedroom by, by the time I have my surgery. <laughs> I'm such a, a funny girl. Okay, I only have an hour that I get to walk today. I wanted to get down here sooner, but I didn't want to make her walk. I'm, I'm saying her, because there's a little one back behind me changing into her cheer uniform. We've been trying to get out the door for us to go to Hobby Lobby. Right, Ashley? Yeah. Didn't happen. <laughs> Ended up on the phone with my dad for an hour and a half, having an excellent conversation. I was kind of nervous to tell him about my surgery. I haven't let him know that I was gonna do it. And he, oh, he was so loving about it. He was so excited about it. He's fully in support of me doing the surgery. He actually has done this surgery before when he was in med school. Um, he's a pediatrician, if you didn't know that. And when he was in med school, he scrubbed in and actually did this surgery. <laughs> he knew exactly what I meant when I told him that you know, it's the keyhole procedure, and he was like, oh, that's great, because then they're gonna take out tissue from the underside, and I was like, yeah, yeah, they are. So, um, are you dressed enough to <laughs> not be discreet? My top. Your top is done. Um, anyway, I just was kind of nervous. I have some family members who may not agree with me doing this, and I'm nervous about telling all of them, but as my dad said, then you can send them my way, and I will take care of that, <laughs> which was, it put me in tears because it really meant a lot to me that he gave me that much support, like above and beyond um, understanding of why I want to have this surgery. Um, and I don't know, it's, Jason's a little nervous about it. <laughs> He's trying to like, I think I've wrapped my head around it so fully. He's more worried about the finances of it. We are partially financing it with interest free um, 
payment plans and we don't normally do that but because it's interest free it helps us be able to like save up for it every single month and make that payment okay I have my shoes because I have Crocs on right now. You, But you brought your shoes? Yes. I'm so glad she's on top of this because I literally didn't do any of this for her. You have white no-show shoes or yes. socks? Yeah. All right, girl. We have six minutes till we need to be in there. You can tell that there's a lot of other families down here. It is a family, a family and friends night. I'm going to remind Grandpa um, to come down in an hour. They're going to practice for an hour. I'm going to walk and then... Um, I will show you her performance. It's going to be fun because she's going to do all the dances tonight. No. Yeah? Except for one. But it's not ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's fair enough. I never got it what you had to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it because I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. She got the glitter and the fame and I, I just wasn't enough for you. Was very fun 
You got some cute awards my for bow. fabulousness. Did you see my bow? Yes, your bow came out <laughs> on out. one of the performances. Um, but I have to give her a little credit. I didn't show any of the awards beyond her getting the, the just the little papers that she got. But we went up and talked to the coach afterward. But we're gonna go home. We've had a very long day. We're Bye. done. Bars were dropping off. What? Certificate. Oh yeah, her friend couldn't come tonight. She had to choose between this or a school choir concert. Had to choose that. So we're gonna call it a night with you guys. It's been an eventful day. Lots of fun news for myself. I still need to call my sister back. She's been Marco Poloing me um, during this performance. So I'm gonna listen to her messages and I will um, see you guys next time. And um, very excited for all these fun yet really expensive things that we're doing this year and next year. So take care you guys. Keep watching because we need to earn all the money possible. Right I'm Ashley? I'm going to Hawaii. No, I'm going to make Hawaii happen. <laughs> Just might be in February versus April because I don't know if we can do Hawaii and at the same time. Even Abby, you don't know this, but Abby was like, well I want to go to If she earns her ticket, she might be able to get to go with us. We'll see how it goes. Chelsea okay. wants to go too. Does she? Yeah. I mean, like, Abby's like, why can't we all go? <laughs> it's a lot. All right. Take care, you guys. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>